All right, hey guys, welcome back to Universal Home Learning Program. Hopefully you guys have been keeping up with the um, past programs already and the past work workouts. So today we're going to be doing a lot more of speed and agility drills, okay? So that way, as a ninja, as a person who's doing urban movement, you guys will have the capability to react quickly on your feet, okay? But first, let's begin with a little warm-up, shall we? Let me first introduce my lovely assistants, and I'm sure you guys recognize them from a couple of videos ago. We have the lovely and wonderful Kai, and we've got the wonderful and graceful Lexi. Yeah, woo! All right, first of all, we guys, we're gonna do a little warm-up. It's gonna be involving some jumping jacks, we've got some burpees, we've got some explosive jumps, and we've got some heel kicks, okay? Now, I just named off some four of our, our warm-ups, um, but every warm-up, every movement that we do, probably do about five to 10 seconds. Again, it's pretty quick, but you don't also wanna tire yourself out, okay? So we're gonna start off with some jumping jacks. Can you guys show me jumping jacks? There, you're good. You don't want to, and you want to make sure you don't want to go too high. You want to make sure you go probably, probably about shoulder height. You can go a little higher than that, but you don't want to go over here just yet, okay? And the legs are probably going to go as far as your body or your shoulder width. Very good, you guys can stop. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to do some burpees. Now, I know normally with burpees, you will have to do some push-ups at the very end, but you don't have to for today's exercises, okay? So as you guys do your burpees, you guys can actually start with a little squat. Put your hands on the ground. Kick your feet out, kick him back up in the squat position, and then jump in the sky, okay? Uh, let's do that a couple times, okay? Go ahead. So squat, kick, squat back up, and jump. Squat, kick, squat, and jump. One more. Very nice, guys. Very nice, very nice. Again, these, these require a lot of movement, so you don't want to tire yourselves out. Next, we're going to do explosive jumps, okay? Now, with explosive jumps, you want to make sure you get kind of about shoulder width apart as far as your feet. You want to keep your chest up. You want to bend down in squat position. And as you come back up, you want to throw your arms up in the air. As you throw your arms up in the air, you're going to jump as well and then come back in your squat position, okay? And we're going to do that a couple times. Give that a shot, guys. Good. Good. There you go. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. Now, the final movement that we're going to be doing are going to be called heel kicks, okay? Basically what you want to do is put your hands right where your hips are in the back. And as you guys are kicking, I want you guys to try to get your heels to get your, your hands, okay? So as you guys go, I want that action, okay? Alright guys, go ahead. Very nice, very nice. And again, these do require a lot of movement. So try to limit these. Probably go about five to 10 seconds each movement. The main thing, just getting your, your body warm, the blood flow go. All right, all right, woo! You guys warmed up? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do our skills. Now, as you can tell, I've set up a couple things. Um, I know you guys don't have french fries at the house, but if you have some sticks, maybe broomsticks even, it doesn't have to be that high off the ground, Maybe you guys have some, uh, a towel, a set of towels that you can just lay on the ground, okay? Um, again, it, it's not about height right now, it's about you actually doing the actual movements, okay? So, we're gonna do what we call ladder drills. Now, I know it's, it's set up a little bit differently other places, but for today's purposes and, and the resources that we have, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and use these, okay? So, with ladder drills, we're gonna actually make forward movements and we're also gonna make sideways movements. As we take our forward movements, we want to try to keep our knees up high, and every time we step, we want to take a step forward over the, the actual french fry or a towel or dish rags or whatever that you guys have in the house, okay? Um, and so we're going to start off with the forward steps first, and I'm going to have Kai and Lexi demonstrate those for me, okay? Go ahead. Good, good, Lexi. Good job, Kai. Now, again, you don't have to go as fast as these guys are going right now. Remember, we've got all week to make these videos and to make them correct. If you can start off slow at first, that's okay. Then work your speed and your agility up towards the end. Try that again for me, Kai. Very nice, Kai. Good. Good. Now, another thing, very important. You, don't, you want to make sure that your chest isn't too far forward or too far back. You want to make sure that it's level. And as you're going up, keep that high, high upwards over the, the obstacle as well, okay? All right, do that one more time for me. Good. Very nice, very nice. Now, let's step this up a notch. 
Now we're going to go sideways, okay? So instead of going forward with our body facing that way, now we're actually going to face outwards like this. And same thing, you're, you guys are just going to basically step, 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 just like that, okay? All right, go ahead, guys. Good. Try to keep your head level, guys. There you go. Now, Lexi took it a little slower, which is fine. Again, work up to your speed, work up to the quickness. Do that again, Kai. Very good. I like his high knees, high knees. Good. All right, let's do it one more time. Good. There you go, Kai. Good. All right, one more lady card. Nice work there. Very good, very good, guys. Awesome, awesome. Now, once we complete that, we're going to do our side to sides, okay? So, everyone's going to stand back here, and instead of using the obstacles and stepping over the obstacles, we're actually just going to go feet together as a side to side. So, as our feet connect here, we're now we're going to step sideways, okay? So, as you go, side, side, side. All the while, keeping that chest level. So, that way, when you're making your movements, you don't want to go forward or too far backward or side, side to side either with your torso. Keep that level, keep that head nice and tight right there. Okay, go ahead, guys. Good. Yeah, you guys can go back and forth. That's fine. Go ahead. Good, Lex. Good. Now, as you can tell, Lexi is doing another movement. That second movement, or set, that's the second part of this movement. Instead of going side to side like this, now you guys can actually crisscross, okay? So here, here, here. We also call that grape binding, okay? Why don't you do this, Ty? Why don't you do the side to side? Lexi, why don't you do the grapevine, okay? All right, go ahead. Good job, Kai. Good, good. Nice, go ahead. Good, now Lexi was just doing this straight crisscross here. You guys, actually, I, I do want you guys to switch and alternate your foot position. So, one's gonna go to the front, next time we'll go to the back, front, and back, okay? Again, I know this might be an awkward movement for a lot of you guys. It doesn't have to be pretty right now. Again, you have all week to make it look better, okay? Nice, you guys did awesome there. Now, as far as our third skill that we're gonna work on, we're actually gonna work on our high knees skips, okay? So, what I mean by high knees, and what we've been working on throughout this whole skill, throughout this whole exercise, is keeping your knees up high, okay? You don't want them too high up. I mean, I think probably about 90 degree or 45 degree right here, as long as you guys hit your hand um, on the way up. So as you guys go, you guys are gonna skip at the same time, up. So notice as I, as I explode, that's why we did the warm up earlier with our explosion jumps. So we're gonna come from the bottom, and then skip upwards and get that knee high up, okay? Let me show you one more time where I have my assistants do. So here, skip, high knee, skip, high knee, skip, okay? All right, you guys go ahead. Good, go. Good. Very good, Lexi. Thank you. Good. Now, um, they're only doing just a couple steps. It's okay. If you only have this much room at your house, that's all right. You might have to make three or four passes in order to get, to get a good workout in. But if you guys do this in your backyard, that's where the magic is, okay? That's where you guys are going to really feel it in your legs. It's, it's going to be burning. It's going to be hurting. You're going to be hating me later. No, I'm just kidding. You won't do that. But... The more you guys do this, the more your legs will get stronger and you'll build up for it. Now, as far as earning your three stars for your skills, we're going to work on sprinting. Okay, again, this whole exercise, what we're working on this week, is going to be your speed and your agility. So, parents, I want you guys to mark out about 10 feet. Say, say from here, from the yellow to the end. Okay, that's about 10 feet, I would say. Uh, it's probably less, actually. Um, but, mark out about 10 feet. Now. Every run, I want you guys to do this three times, okay? Every run, have your parents use a stopwatch, use a timer, use their watch, but I want you guys to record your run every three times, and I want you guys to beat your time every single time. And that's what you're going to be graded, graded on as far as your stars, okay? All right, so Kai, go ahead and sprint for me. Good, that's it. Just one sprint. Go ahead, Lexi. Good. Now, again... I want you guys to do this for three times, okay? So, you're, in order for you to earn one star, you need to tell me what your first timing is. In order for you to earn your second star, you need to tell me what your second timing is, but better than your first. In order for you to earn three stars, you've got to totally demolish your first two times. 
okay? Again, let me show you that. Um, but for the younger guys, I want you guys to only use 10 feet. So again, from the yellow to probably this ending block right here, that's fine. But for the older guys, I want you guys to go at least 20 feet, okay? I know I coach little ninjas, I coach team ninjas, and I coach the big ninjas. Um, the ones that can handle it, go 20 feet. Again, this is, this is working on your time and beating your previous times. Do that one more time, fam. Yes, that would have been two. Go. Good. And one more. Three stars. I think that would have done it. Three stars. Very nice. All right, guys. Great job. Can't wait to see your skills videos. All right. Wow. I know I'm tired. I know they're tired. I know you guys are tired. But it's going to be it's gonna be worth it in the end because you guys are going to be super strong. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do some conditioning, okay? So with conditioning, we're going to have three movements that I want you guys to work on. We're going to work on wall sits, and Kai's going to demonstrate that here in a minute. We're going to work on kickbacks, and Lexi's going to work on that as well. And then we're all going to do side-to-side -side squats, okay? So what I want you to do first is I want you to focus on where Kai is. Um, I know the house, um, everybody has walls. Maybe you have something outside. You guys can do this outside as well. Um, but for today's purposes, we're using this block right here, okay? Um, as, you, as you guys do your wall sits, I don't want your feet too far away from the wall. I want you to be a comfortable distance from here, so maybe take one step here, and another step here, and then rest your wall, or back on the wall, okay? All right, go ahead, Kai. And you don't have to go super far either. Just go about 90 degrees. Squat, good. And if you guys can, try to get your hands off of your legs, okay? Because that defeats the, the piece of purpose. All right, try that again. Good. Just go down. And hold it. And hold. There you go. Again, you don't want your feet too far under, but you don't want your feet too far out either, okay? Very good. Thank you, Kai. I know that burns, and it's definitely going to burn. So I want you guys to stick with it, okay? Again, today's your first day trying it. You have all week to, to make it better towards the end. All right, next thing you're going to do, we're going to do kickbacks. Again, you guys can use this wall, okay? And Lexi's going to demonstrate it. The main thing with kickbacks is it's really going to work on strengthening your hamstrings, make the back part of your thigh, and definitely get those glutes stronger, okay? So the big thing with a kickback, you can lean into it a little bit. You don't want to be straight onto the wall. Have a little lean. And as you kick, it's like you want to try to kick a door down right behind you. So you want to kick back and kick out and down. Out and down. And you guys, I'm telling you guys, if you guys are doing this properly, you're definitely going to feel it all through here, okay? Lexi, do you want to demonstrate that for me? Good. And kick. Good. Now, as you can tell, Lexi's pointing her feet. You don't have to necessarily point your feet. That's okay. She's used to it. Um, go ahead and do that again for me. Good. And really kick out. Again, push a, put a lot of power into that kick back, okay? And with those movements there, you probably want to get... Man, it's going to hurt, but... Probably try to go for about five to ten each leg, okay? And in between, you, you might need to shake it out, rest it out for a little bit, but then go back to it, okay? Now, we're all three gonna do some side to side squats, okay? Let me show you what I mean uh, with that first. So, as you guys are taking a side step, then you guys wanna take a squat, and then here, and then back up. Side, squat, here, up, okay? And then opposite direction, you're going to go side, squat, here, up. Okay, again, you don't want your chest too far forward or too far back. And you definitely don't want your squats too low either. Okay? All right, can we all kind of stagger? Good. And we're going to go sideways first. Ready? And go side, squat, step up. Side, squat, step, and up. Let's go to the opposite direction now. Ready? And side. Squat, step up, side, squat, step up. Very good. Very nice, guys. Like again, again, I know you guys, you guys' legs are going to be burning, so definitely shake them out. Now, as far as your three stars for this skill, for conditioning, um, it's going to be on the wall sits, okay? Now, Kai, can you demonstrate that wall sit one more time for me? Very good. Yeah, you don't have to go too far down. Try that again. And stop. And go back up. Now, Again, I coach little ninjas, big ninjas, and team. Little guys, I want you guys to be able to hold that squat position for seven seconds for your first star, okay? Two stars, you're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. And for three stars, 15. I know that may seem like a lot of time for you guys, but I know you guys are really strong. 
Now, for my team and my, and my Ular Ninjas and Urban Movement people, I want you to hold that squat for 20 seconds for one star, 30 seconds for two stars, and 40 seconds for three stars. All right? I know you guys can do it. Get it. Oh my gosh. Woo! You guys are doing wonderful, by the way. Aren't they doing wonderful, guys? Man, I'm starting to get tired, but before we end this, we're going to do some stretching. So now we're going to work on our flexibility. Can we all take a seat? We're going to all sit in our straddle position. Of course, legs spread wide, and we're going to go down to the left side. Good. And every hold, I would say hold it probably for about 5 to 10 seconds. You want to make sure you do this towards the end of your workout, so that way your muscles are nice and warm. And right side. Very good. And middle. And try to stretch out as far as you guys can. Remember, don't arch your back. Keep it straight. Try to get that belly button down. Good. And then we're going to do pike stretching. Okay. So, I know we've done pike stretches before, but this is actually how we're going to work on, how, this is how we're going to get our flexibility stars is going to be on pike while we're in this position. Okay. So, first star, I want you guys to try to get those ankles. I want you guys to hold that for five seconds, okay? Good, there you go, Lexi. Good job, Kai. Good. Now, for your second star, I want you guys to try to get those toes and hold that for 10 seconds. Or as close to them as you can, okay? If you can grab kind of um, a little bit before your, your toes, that's fine too. All right, now, in order for you guys to earn your three stars, I want you guys to be able to grab your toes and then actually pull those heels off of the ground. Okay, now, again, some of you guys may not be able to do that. It's okay. Just stretch out as far as you can, work towards it, and by the end of the week, I think you guys will be able to have that. Okay? Next stretch we're going to do are lunges. Now remember, try to straighten the leg out first and lunge into it. Make sure your knee is not going past your toe. Make sure your chest is up and straight. And the back leg should be straight right behind us as well, because so that way we get our hip flexors stretched. Very good. And then we're going to do one more side here. Other leg. Straighten that leg out. And push into it. Very nice. Doesn't it feel good to be at the end of the workout, guys? Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. Very good, very good. And we're going to do one more stretch. It's going to be for our quads, okay? Now, you may have to grab a... Your, your brother or sister, or mom, dad, help you guys up, even a wall. But you guys are basically going to take your ankle here, and you guys are going to stretch this part of your quad, okay? So if you need me to hold you right here, you don't have to go that far. There you go. Good. Nice job there. And again, try to get your knee level with your other leg. Good job, Kai. Good. And let's get the other leg out. Good. And again, mom, dad, if you have to help, Support them like that, looks good. Good job, Lexi. Now Lexi's done gymnastics before, so that's why she's ultra flexible in here. But again, you guys don't have to do all that, okay? All right, and that concludes our, our stretches today, and that concludes today's workout. Hope to see you guys next week, and I hope you guys are enjoying our workouts. Thank you, guys.